we're quite excited to have these two luminaries with us uh, this evening, curator Yuko Hasegawa and architect Kazuyo uh, Seijima. Uh, allow me to introduce our guests. I'll begin with uh, Yuko. Uh, Hasegawa. Uh, she is the curator and artistic director for the Inujima Art House Project. She is also current director of the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art, Kanazawa, and was the chief curator and founding artistic director at the museum during its development and inception. Uh, she was chief curator and artistic director of the Museum of Contemporary Art, Tokyo, from 2006 to 2020. Uh, Hasegawa-san engages in various cross-disciplinary activities on a global scale, uh, including international biennales, exhibitions, as well as Japanese regional art projects, and is currently a visiting professor in the humanities department at Ca Foscari uh, University in Venice, Italy. Uh, my Italian's not that great, but um, uh, thank you uh, for being here with us today, uh, Hasegawa-san. Uh, Kazuyo Sejima is the architect for the Inujima Art House Project and co-curator for the Symbiosis Exhibition. She established Kazuyo Sejima and Associates in 1987 and Sana with Ryuei Nishizawa in 1995. In 2010, she was the second woman to win the Pritzker Prize uh, for her work with Sana on the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art in Kanazawa. Other notable uh, international projects with Sana include the new museum in New York, uh, completed in 2007, Louvre Lens in France in uh, 2012, and most recently, the Art Gallery of New South Wales uh, expansion in Sydney that opened last December, all with Sana. And of course, the remarkable Sumida Hokusai Museum, Tokyo, uh, completed in 2016 with Sejima and Associates. Uh, Sejima-san is currently teaching at uh, Women's University in Tokyo and uh, Politecnico di Milano in Italy. Thank you very much for joining us, Sejima-san. As we go through the interview style talk this evening, we will roll through some images uh, from the evolution of the Inujima art project on the screen behind us. Uh, they will match up with the conversation at times, but it's more to impart a feeling of the island and the project's evolution. Uh, so. Uh, we'll get started here. I'd like to open with a question for uh, Ms. Hasegawa. Can you please offer a brief introduction to the Inujima Art House Project and your approach to initiating the project? Thank you very much, Trust, and a great uh, introduction. Also, I'm very honored to be here and uh, give a talk uh, with uh, Sejima-san. Firstly, uh, I just want to uh, talk about uh, very briefly about uh, this kind of project. And Inujima Island and uh, art project because and, uh, um, this is very beginning because I worked with Sana uh, and Sana also Sejima Kazuyo and uh, to create a uh, 21st century museum contemporary to Kanazawa so it's uh, really aimed to be and uh, make a uh, very open museum to public to and uh, anyone can be involved in uh, art so that means and uh, uh, buildings are surrounded by grasses and uh, it's uh, gonna uh, make a uh, dialogue the city. So this and uh, we just democratize art to the ordinary public. This is ideas. But afterwards, I'm just thinking about how we can democratize uh, art. It's a more kind of ordinary people, and not in a museum attendance. Within those kind of ideas, I got an invitation from uh, Mr. Fukutake, and he's the president of the Fukutake Art Foundation, also Venice Corporation. Uh, he's just doing uh, some kind of, you know, an uh, art site project in uh, Setouchi Island because he just started uh, Naoshima Island, so next uh, Tishima Island. Because the uh, last one is the uh, Inujima Island project, a very small island, very close to uh, Okayama Prefecture. But uh, it's a quite you know isolated place, and uh, also it's uh, not so uh, easy to access. But uh, I think uh, those kind of island like a uh, very critical island means you know now it's uh, Japan is suffering a lot of kind you know depopularization. It's the most senior people live those kind of island. Only kind of 15 family, 50 family live there. Almost they're over you know 90 and so 80 years old. It's an and uh, sooner, and uh, this uh, village on the island uh, is, uh, could be and uh, disappear, something like that. It's very critical. Uh, Mr. Fukutake really want to and uh, revitalize, activate this island with the power of art, because uh, 
uh, we just both believed the uh, power of the art because and, uh, no one knows and uh, why artists and uh, we are so much moved by art because uh, this is kind of known kind of uh, logocentric ideas and all the kind of our emotion also our desire to live and uh, just connected the uh, art so so that's why so, uh, he just asked me to and uh, make a revitalize uh, those island with the art project because and uh, soon as I just and, uh, um invited the Kazuyo Sejima and uh, like and my kind of friend also you know those kind of strong partner to just open the kind of institution to the public so in a way so, and, uh, we just started discuss about you know what the kind of new model of the you know art and also you know architecture and also uh, relate make a relation with uh, this environment with the people so we just started uh, 15 years ago 2009 that's the beginning the idea of the initial idea is and uh, we just uh, not make a big institution and um, we just uh, scatter the several small pavilions and uh, um, the several places and uh, in Ireland so it's a make a route that means and uh, we finally we just make uh, five pavilions and uh, designed by Kazuyo Sejima but and also some of the building is very kind of you know unique and form is uh, original he she made but the other one is a uh, renovation of the existing and uh, old houses so that and uh, it's uh, their route and uh, people just woke up to around uh, you know between pavilion the pavilions and also look at the uh, uh, landscape and also people's you know on the way so it's a really kind of you know experience to how you just and uh, feeling also how you appreciate and uh, all the entire environment this is the uh, and the things so that and uh, you know uh, this is very initial ideas and uh, how we can make an uh, um hold the kind of island as a one museum and uh, without wall this is the beginning um thank you hasegawa san for a question for uh, Ms. Uh, Sejima. A project like Inujima revitalizing a community appears to be quite different than designing a building, a uh, standalone building. What was your process in addressing the geography or the physical aspects of the island as well as the existing village plan? What were your priorities when you started? Thank you very much for coming and also we are very honored to be here. To be today here. And uh, from now, I'm sorry, I will use Japanese, so a little bit be patient. Ma no, tsu no tatemono to chigate, eh, to, ma so ko ni aru mono de mazu tsukura nai to shima na no de, narubek so ko ni aru mono de tsukuru, te yu yona koto ga ipan teki na tatemono to chigata te yu koto to, sore kara no, michi ga hosoku te kuruma ga nai no de, eh, te de, 持っていけるような So compared to a just building a, a single standalone building, uh, we I, I did had the uh, intention to use what's available on the island. So that's definitely different from having to build a standalone building. And and on the island, the streets are very narrow. There are no roads. And so the focus was to be able to use your, just your two hands to build something. So those are one of the, the major differences in working on Inujima versus a standalone building. The next step was reintegrating what we create with the nature on the island and what's already there. Thank you very much. To continue a, a question for Seijima-san, as a, a resident in one of the videos we are showing downstairs in the exhibition mentions at under three miles around, the island is just the right size for a community to care for the environment on its own. It's not too big to become uncontrollable or unmanageable. There's a cohesiveness within a community, and it's not too small to become too limiting. There's stimulation on the island. Possibilities from the environment for food and medicine become possible to realize and cultivate, and it creates the opportunity for a symbiosis because the island is just a right size. Uh, do you feel this was important, the size of the island in, in the project? <laughs> あの、
だったと思います。でそれは通してかって本当に初めての体験だったんですが、まあ、一つはサイズ小さいっていうこととそれがあ島だっていうことと小さいっていうことで、えー、自分が常にどこにいるかっていうのをあの理解できる体で理解できるってそれがあの非常に、えー、と他ではなかった経験だった。Regards to the size of the island, yes, I was drawn to the island exactly because it's small. And, that's,、uh, and this was my first time experiencing not only being in a small area, but it's also an island. And I physically just developed the sense of where I am on the island、um, pretty quickly. So I was always aware of where I physically was in relation to the rest of the island. そうそうだからあのど、まあ、都市空間にしても田舎だとしてもなんか自分がどこにいるかじゃなくても自分が立っているところっていうのがあの体で確実にあの認識できるそれがすごくまずあのすごい体験だったからすごくあの自分の体と一体としてその環境を感じることができた。なんだけどだんだんやってるうちにあそれは小さいからできたって思ってたけど大きいとこでもできるはずだなっていうのも少しずつ思い出した。So you can experience where you are in relation to yourself in a city or the countryside but for me being in Inujima I really、uh, fully just mentally and physically understood this sense of geography and being in this place. So I thought oh you know a small、um, A small area has a lot of possibilities. But then I started thinking maybe the things we are developing here can also be applied to not just small areas, but a large area as well. So my view has started to change. Yeah, and I, I did say、uh, geography where I am, but it's that、uh, physical and mental, spiritual connection to the island because I know where I am on the island. Did you see or feel a connection to the project you had at the 21st Century Museum in Kanazawa as the museum in Kanazawa was an island in, in the community and this is an, an actual island? Did you use any of the process in, in working on the 21st Century Museum in the, the development of Inujima or it was more a philosophical、uh, aspect? Uh, the very beginning of this,、uh, when we, I joined this project, I really worried why the small pavilion spread and then what I can achieve.、Mm -hmm. But gradually, I realized maybe to connect it to the、uh, context and then also maybe some size. Maybe people can connect by own body、mm. uh, to small pavilions. And、mm. maybe, but it, All should be connected to that local, that、uh, exact context. Maybe、yes. this is what I thought. And Kanazawa was just different. Kanazawa was Kanazawa is、uh, just we try to the big museum to connect it to the city.、Mm. But this、uh, is so that we our concept is museum is a city.、Mm. But five years later, the local gallery、uh, owner who own the gallery. Uh, developed this idea so that he proposed his gallery is one box gallery from the 20th century uh, museum mm -hmm. come to the city. Mm -hmm. And then that idea that everyone can share so that all to develop this idea, all galleries in the city also h a s the opportunity to be connected. I understand, and they connect, it, become, it becomes a place of connection. And following up with、uh, Hasegawa san, how do you begin to consider an artist for the island of Inujima? I, I believe the relationship also needs to be symbiotic, that the artist giving their work to the community and, and the community then in turn caring for that work, it's shared by the community,、uh, and the community shares it with visitors to the island. It seems like a very wonderful relationship, but It, not so often that type of project is presented to an artist. How do you、uh, find the right artist? Yeah, firstly, Sana, this is a quite a difficult you know, task for me because you know, and, uh, Mr. Fukutake really w a n t to make a very ecological, you know, sustainable and,、uh, politics. In a way, he asked、uh, both of us 
and uh, we cannot use any electricity because and also you know no light, also no AC because and, uh, you know such a and beautiful pavilions and around and acrylic and glasses and uh, how we can maintain and the inside, particularly summertime also later spring. So inside is very become very hot. Yeah. So in a way, it's, and, uh, as a curators working in the museum, and so here the kind of also professional at the museum, and uh, how we can and, uh, kind of, you know, and, uh, preserve the certain kind of condition for their artworks. Because and, uh, firstly, I asked the artist, and, uh, you know, please and, uh, um, make a solution, think uh, together, so something like that. It's very cooperative and uh, artist, and I have to choose. You know, this is one thing. Also, another thing, and, uh, also, and, uh, uh, what uh, you know, trust you know, just mentioned about, and uh, should be very much engaged. What kind of engagement, and uh, physically, and uh, also psychologically, and uh, you know, it's a participatory. That's the one thing. And uh, secondly, also you know, they are very good researcher of the island. Also, they are better uh, communicate uh, with an uh, islander. So, in a way, in the process of uh, creating uh, their own kind of project. Uh, we just uh, um, organized uh, some of the meeting with Islander, also uh, make a presentation and uh, several times in a way to just make more kind of you know and uh, open and uh, understand understanding. So this is the process. But uh, but artists shouldn't make uh, any kind of particular you know and um, reflecting the story of the island because uh, this is uh, you know depending artist and artists create their own story. I just make it uh, freedom. So, but uh, it's uh, very important because in uh, three or four years, artist and uh, that piece is existing there because just next to uh, the people's life, people look at every day. But uh, it's not that uh, you know, people shouldn't be get bored. So it's quite important to be a uh, co-being, to enjoy every day and uh, such a you know part of their life. This is quite important. This is a kind of spell I just put in uh, the artist. Artist and uh, just you know try to and uh, make an uh, you know such response. This you can see some result because uh, some of the artists make a very beautiful and uh, sculpture, but uh, with a uh, uh, fabric, it's like a hammock. People just enjoy it. Also, and uh, some of the artists and uh, make an, uh, you know and a uh, very nice kind of chalk, special chalk and a painting on the floor. And um, the outside, people just uh, can enjoy to make a uh, game on that. So, and uh, there are several types of the participation. So, in a way, uh, you know, it's quite uh, important to you know uh, think about. Also, the um, this is some relation with the visitors. Also, you know, Islander, and uh, they are and, uh, part of the Islander, and uh, they just uh, help to uh, cleaning the kind of venue, also maintenance. Also, some of the people in the voluntary and uh, make a tour because and, uh, they make a fantastic story. And uh, they just, uh, sometimes uh, they are more eloquent than, uh, the, uh, than me as a curators because they know the, all the process, how artists create the artworks. But uh, it's, uh, it's quite nice because also system is very kind of clever because uh, um, the Fukutake Art Foundation, they pay and a part of them but uh, some parties of work is they voluntarily do it. And this is very natural kind of circulation is economy. And uh, also another dimension is because on uh, one side they one day artists and uh, you know they are not kind of so much kind of established restaurant. There are a few cafes and uh, only can some uh, temporary open the restaurant. And I asked the artist and uh, how do you and uh, you know survive into every day? And uh, you know he said, oh it's okay because of lunch time. And uh, some something and uh, just offer to my next to me because uh, somebody just give a lunch and uh, bring a lunch to beside of him. So he didn't aware that he was so surprised. But every day then uh, some lunch is there. So very some, something like that. It's like you know very mysterious but so beautiful. This is something happened. But every day is an island. I look at how they working. They are very welcome. So this is a kind of very natural. Nobody just pushed, and uh, there are very uh, special kind of system relations. But uh, those kind of natural relations are automatically uh, generated. And um, this is a way to uh, how we just make uh, relations with the visitors, also Iranda, the artist. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this relationship is unique to Japan, or that if you say you 
this was a different part of the world in another rural, rural area, that it could be manifested in the same way or the same thing would happen? Or is there something special about this being in Japan, I, being in as part of Japanese culture? Is there something that Japanese, about Japanese culture that makes something, a project like Inujima possible? Uh, because you know, I cannot say this is unique, uh, this is only one thing that happened in Inujima, I cannot say, because uh, people that he, he's uh, here, guys, and uh, you must know about uh, what the human beings, what humanity, what uh, happened to and uh, between human and human. So that means uh, symbiosis is also a very universal term. This uh, from the, uh, come from the biological term, but uh, also term to be a very kind of, you know, and a very much generated world is and to everybody can share it because and uh, um, symbiosis are like uh, something like uh, you know um, to make a uh, connection everything connected each other also interdependence everybody is just to help to each other so this is the primary ideas I I don't and uh, say uh, this is very unique and uh, this an uh, island also this is unique and only happen in Japan but everywhere is, and happen these things but and uh, this is one kind of case. And as part of the project, it, it evolved, and there are different uh, aspects that are continuing. I know that uh, Sejima and Associates received a grant uh, from uh, the Japanese External Trade Organization grant uh, to do workshops, on, and you use that grant to do workshops on the island. Is that something you see continuing, those workshops, Sejima-san? COVID. とのピリオドはちょっと で、それじゃあ日本人もやるべきだろうって日本の大学の学生に声かけて一緒にこの中にも多分出てくるんじゃないかな、ね、多分ね、そういうあのいろいろあのでもまたあの日本に入れるようになったのでもう少しでアメリ
I want to make an island. I want to think about island itself become an architecture, mm -hmm. and also this all total is a kind of environment. But then I gradually, but under I this taught in, taught me, teach me or inform me, the even the normal building. I before I thought the completion of the construction is the the com the kind of uh, goal to make building new building but uh, it's not true that it's also the develop more uh, with uh, users mm -hmm. on the how to use or how to connect it to the social uh, society this also the still uh, continue uh, the movement i think mm -hmm. so this is uh, what i learned mm -hmm. and also <laughs> mm -hmm. also the just expanding so i have no goal <laughs> <laughs> Hasegawa-san, your, your goals, when you first started on the project, did you have a vision of what you wanted the island to become? Or, um, and has it changed? Uh, this is uh, also the kind of same kind of, you know, and uh, uh, thought and, uh, which uh, uh, Sejima-san said, but then, uh, at the very beginning, I just think about uh, some, make, uh, some contrast, uh, contrast between existing buildings. And one building is uh, like a uh, Serenjo, and uh, like a copper filtering and, uh, you know, factory. And uh, that was a big chimney. It's very a uh, vertical structure. was uh, renovated by Sambuichi. So it's a male architect, very famous. Also, it's a great, uh, that's one museum already and, uh, been there. So this is at the uh, uh, seaside, but uh, this is very vertical. So, but uh, you know, we just one place. But uh, I just, uh, my vision is, and uh, I just want to make more kind of, you know, horizontal, very dispersed and a uh, small kind of structure to also, you know, and uh, integrate the people's uh, mobility and also life. This is ideas. So this is a big kind of vision is and uh, first I conceived. But then uh, afterwards, you know, and also, and, uh, um, Sejima-san, just to bring uh, many kind of different ideas, also make a beautiful kind of life garden, also with an, uh, 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 to, an, uh, grass and, uh, you know, and, um, kind of, the, you know, and uh, very kind of, lots of kind of, you know, and uh, different type of, the, you know, also she just uh, also working with other, uh, and inviting other, you know, architect and also make uh, different kind of small structures. So this, uh, you know, this is, uh, and, uh, um, different kind of elements that become more, you know, and uh, integrated, uh, you know, some certain kind of one cultural ecosystem, also an uh, island to be lived and also living. So in a way, it's, uh, you know, I just, uh, I don't have any particular goal with the vision as well, but always uh, somebody interested in, like, uh, you know, owner of the Hopi and the companies, and uh, they just, uh, Somebody give uh, some kind of fund. Also so invite an uh, architect and uh, you know Mr. Kondo, and uh, he just designed the beautiful kind of housing. Also sometimes the the temporary Hopi bars are temporarily open, but uh, really people really please that. So this is something one by one. Also one of the kind of you know an uh, entrepreneurs and president of the natural energy sustainable energy company. Uh, he will just give a uh, free and uh, you know an uh, energy power to us, something like that. And uh, every time, uh, day by day, also and uh, little by little, and uh, those kind of you know people interested in this kind of island project, they just joining. Very kind of we are very slow, you know. We are not kind of in hurry. So in a way, it's, uh, only hurry is and uh, island has become quite old. So that's why said, uh, we want to be pleased and uh, together with and uh, longer as possible. So this is a uh, things and uh, it's a timeline which we have, but anyway. So and uh, um, also the visitors and not kind of only kind of appreciate art. Visitors and uh, also look at the new ecosystem we are growing. Mm -hmm. Also another consideration because now it's the people seeking for you know new kind of way of the lifestyle. So the solution of and uh, how we can survive this kind of you know. And, and uh, you know, Anthropocene times, and uh, it's very critical times. And uh, you know, in a case, and uh, this kind of small island could be one of the proposed, one of the model of you know, uh, survive and uh, this kind of situation because we are very tiny, you know, 
organism, mm. but also, you know, inviting people, so people that are coming. So and, uh, this is a kind of, we are ongoing process, mm -hmm. but uh, never kind of uh, finished, mm -hmm. but uh, probably, and uh, we just continue to, and uh, going to really maybe find a uh, new kind of successor, also partner mm -hmm. in the future. So this is something which I thought. Mm. And also, I must say that the last uh, three years, gradually, new b before the project uh, with only Fukutake Foundation, mm -hmm. but the other uh, company or the mm -hmm. other organization started to join. Mm -hmm. And then, so now also we may have the some little bit different type of project. Mm -hmm. So not increase the uh, habitants. They like to use this space as a gradually the people move to move. So some uh, so one company mm -hmm. plan is a the half of the year the employee live in Tokyo, uh -huh. but half move to the, this area, and mm -hmm. then so this they start to think to use this island part of the, this time. So it seems you're both open to it kind of evolving organically and sometime possibly letting, letting go or, or m uh, handing it off, so to speak, or? Yeah, we are just to be there, so smiling, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so we're enjoying, yeah, something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Every quietly we are sitting there and so sometimes visiting together, you know, something like that. Well, it, it Why not? Yeah, you want to be with us. Yes, yeah. yes, I do. <laughs> I, I, everybody most, I've been talking you know, to, we yeah, all want to come strong and spend invitation, time there. Also seduction, we know about that. Mm -hmm. Yes? <laughs> Thank you. I think we'll wrap, maybe wrap the, the talk portion and, and kind of reach out into the audience to see if there are some questions that maybe you might have for... Uh, Hasegawa-san or Seijima-san. Um, thank you for uh, such an inspiring project and for your time here today. Um, my question is for both of you. It's about finding the balance between tradition and the avant-garde. And how do you approach projects like that? Are there elements of tradition that you want to preserve going in? Or do you find it during the process? How do you do that? Well, the beginning I told, the, because of the tiny island, it's very difficult to bring new material. So I decided to use the existing or the possible to use material, uh, to use as much as possible. And then, but at the same time, the, for example, this the plexi, there is a new material. There, there was a house, but completely broken, and no, it's impossible. So then... I decided to bring the new material, but uh, first I hesitate. The, uh, I must use, I met I use the wood, but I thought uh, because of the, you see that there is a no road, so the, it's very difficult to make it simple uh, building, actually. <laughs> and the, if uh, the, the small piece by hand connected and to become uh, one construction. And especially the plexi is a, uh, uh, there is a factory, <laughs> and also that is just in the factory to make curve, and then the thin acrylic plexi glass becomes strong and stand by himself. So actually the, the factory the, to make a curve and to, to bring by the ship and by hand to bring to the site and to connect it. So. That means uh, I thought maybe the, uh, to just I, dis I, not, I don't have a mistake of the size of the material or the scale or the weight of the material makes uh, continuity to this context. So it's not a vanguard or historical, it's not that there is no um, contradiction, mm -hmm. but more so that all house, you see this also, that I try to you even use the old material and bring the, some, of, of course, ne need some new material. I try to erase the difference, the new and the old. Try to make one continu uh, yes, continuous uh, construction. Is, uh, do we have another question that we might be able to uh, uh, go with Stephen? Um, this is uh, uh, other, well, spe specifically here in America, we have art and community programs on, on different national levels. But it seems that in 
Japan, this is maybe the third project that I can think of that comes to mind. There is the Echigo Triennial, and then there is Naoshima Island, where art is used primarily to regenerate culture and community for the long term in a more permanent way. Is this, in fact, um, becoming a, a viable social model for Japan? Yes, and uh, Japan is uh, now is uh, over and, uh, 30, 40 and uh, Biennale Triennale, and also and, uh, conducted by a uh, local government because and, uh, people like it very much. Because and, uh, we like the uh, festival very much, Matsuri. So <laughs> they and more than museum. So that's <laughs> it's, uh, you know every those kind of periodical matters and uh, you know they are waiting for wow next and uh, biennial when it's going to be. Also at uh, in terms of Matsuri and uh, many kind of, you know outside the people is coming. So it's really kind of you know and activate and uh, those kind of time and space at that time. People like it very much. This is one of the tendency. And, but and, uh, our kind of project is, and, uh, you know, more kind of uh, uh, stable project, not uh, like an uh, matsuri. So that is uh, kind of something for us is very important. Those kind of sustainable, also continuous relation. That's why it's, and I just uh, change and uh, every three years and uh, those kind of installation. But uh, some of the installation also and a uh, part of the you know and uh, installation like a sculpture has been changing. Because, for instance, uh, one of the, you know, boys and uh, sculptures and in Nawas and, uh, you know, Kohei Nawas and sculpture, it's a boy's uh, growing. Because the uh, first uh, boy was a uh, model was uh, five years old, but now he become, you know, like, uh, you know, more than 10 years old. So that means uh, kind of quite big and uh, boys and uh, he just replaced a new statue. So something like that. Um, this is something like an uh, uh, living island means uh, our project uh, living also growing, also changing because as a one of the organism, organic way. So this is slightly different than, you know, those kind of uh, festivity and uh, Inujima, sorry, and uh, it's uh, other, you know, and Triennale and uh, uh, Biennale. But uh, Japanese people love, like art, very much, because uh, in, in, uh, in some way, because uh, this is very much kind of, you know, um, something kind of very physical, also mental relationships and with art. So this is uh, something we really, appreciate and those kind of small, tiny things and a part of the life and uh, other art because and, uh, we are and, uh, very much kind of, you know, something you look at, uh, you know, and uh, daily life things, a uh, craft and also papers and uh, everything we just uh, look at some certain aesthetic. So in a way, uh, this is also some attitude or tendency in Japanese people has. But also, again, and uh, people like uh, those kind of festivity very much. In a way, uh, that I say, uh, this is not only kind of Japanese people that share it, but also everywhere. And, uh, but uh, particularly Japanese people likes those kind of daily life and uh, aesthetic beauty and also those kind of festivity. This only, that I say, uh, with this uh, um, tendency characteristic, I say uh, we are very much connected and art. Thank you. I think we had one more question over here. Uh, yes. Thank you for your time here. Uh, actually, I'm a recently graduated architecture student from USC. And uh, as a student, I have a question about uh, in the modern life, actually, people seem more and more isolated by the modern architecture. It seems like people are trapped into their isolated island of internet and the extraordinary power to gain information and uh, entertain themselves. I just looking at uh, Sana's project, there is a sort of openness and vagueness of identifying the programs. And uh, I just curious, like your opinion about how the relationship between people or society transformed into sort of a new relationship, like compared to the old relationship, people are uh, united together, they are closer, but nowadays, uh, it seems like they are isolated. I, I wonder how architecture can react to that social issue or the social mental problem. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that everywhere, but uh, maybe I feel in Japan the to a little bit too sensitive like <laughs> to make architecture normally become more difficult than before. I feel <coughs> um, gradually the society or the uh, become conservative, but I mean the architecture. Ideally, I think the 
that it is better to be connect. I mean, that to people to think, to 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 think, to need and think and make and use. This is a continuous, I think, the movement. But gradually, gradually, the road will be road is divided. You are man to think, you are man to make and you use and claim. <laughs> I think that this is a little bit difficult and then, but I think that the, at the same time to study architecture is uh, to learn the many relation and then, so that, that means I think also the architecture can do to connect, I like to believe. <laughs> Mm. And I want to make uh, some space uh, it makes possible and people can gather, or even though the, of course the other technology, the media is very important, but at the same time I think the physical uh, uh, place and also way to think about is uh, also important and also makes possible that. I did the uh, curator of the Biennale 2010, and the theme is people meet in architecture. And that is uh, the, I think the, maybe she can explain better <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because and also I just am uh, joining an artistic advisor, and uh, you know, people meet in an architecture. We just uh, put on uh, some kind of the symbolical images, the Pantheon, you know, it's very beautiful. This is a kind of, you know, Place making also people gather and also you know talk and exchange and something to co-being. This is a very important task for the architect to have to do. Also, the, the, those kind of you know we are expert in uh, working the culture. Also very important to together to make kind of place making it uh, people to, together. And also again, the, um, the, what is experience is what is a physical and uh, contact communication with the people. When just ask yourself, you know, uh, people just uh, talking about, about the internet, but also internet and uh, information, internet conversation through the internet, are very, very limited, but all the information is very limited. We are human beings, and we are a lot of kind of information around. It's a physical contact, it's uh, give us uh, more than, you know, uh, 100 and, uh, times more than, you know, a lot of the information. So in a way, it's, uh, it's very important, actual spaces provided us an actual real kind of communication. And people just are aware of that. So what I was thinking about, when you look at the young people, also young people is coming back to an real space. Again, they also love to that the individual also isolated and, you know, conversation. But also, again, and contrary, and they aware of how important it is, particularly after COVID. And COVID and make a given a very sad, but a very good and a kind of feedback to the people. So how we have to, uh, which is very important, this kind of physical meetings with a certain spaces. And spaces should be designed and uh, for meet and those kind of demand. In a, you know, this is Sana is uh, very grateful because uh, they just uh, try to make an, uh, uh, connection very soft to generate and uh, gen gentle relations between outside and inside. Also, you know, yourself and others. So this is a real kind of and a concept that Sana is conceiving for a long time. Thank you so much for sharing uh, that your sensibilities with us tonight. So I'd like to pass it on to uh, Yuko to close things this evening. Thank you so much. Um, please um, uh, thank the, the speakers for wonderful discussions. <laughs>